A group of concerned citizens is calling on the Capital Regional District and the province to take a second look at land-based sewage treatment. They say potentially disastrous mistakes are being made in the rush to develop a plan. The province's environment minister says it's hard to believe that in the 21st century we're having a discussion about whether human sewage in vast quantities should be treated before it's put into the ocean. Over the last several years. They call themselves concerned citizens and environmentalists. The Association for Responsible and Environmentally Sustainable Sewage Treatment, or ARREST, held a news conference in downtown Victoria this morning. With graphs and insights from a handful of speakers, including scientists and engineers, the group outlined its concerns about the Capital Regional District's current plans for land-based secondary sewage treatment, plans it believes are based on old data. Up until now, in my view, there's been no attempt by the CID and their consultants to design a much more economic treatment system that would enable the CID to meet the requirements of the provincial and proposed federal regulations. As new data comes on, the new numbers are plugged into uh, the options that we're looking at. We're under an environmental order. We have to treat. Biological oceanographer Jack Littlepage says the CRD is on a path to spend a great deal of money which he believes will accomplish very little in the way of environmental protection. From a, a scientific point of view, there are literally hundreds of reports, documents, which will justify the fact that there is no damage being done. Little Page says rather than spending millions of dollars on land-based sewage treatment, the CRD should repair leaking storm drains and wastewater pipe infrastructure. Former Federal Environment Minister David Anderson is not a member of ARREST, but he spoke at today's news conference. He says the province must realize there is time for a second look at land-based sewage treatment. The CRD decided to proceed on this without analyzing the best information they had, which was indeed the information that the UVic scientists and the health officers of Creative Victoria. Within a few weeks, I expect to receive a report uh, from the CRD outlining their plans to implement sewage treatment on the south end of Vancouver Island, and I think most British Columbians will say, it's about time. We will waste a full billion dollars. Anderson says he doubts the province or the federal government will commit to providing one-third of the cost for the capital's sewage treatment plans.